I'd appreciate not trying to make me cry. That'd be nice. Well, listen, okay, I'll try. <laughs> um, I'm sure this is an emotional time for you. Mm. Talk to us about the decision to retire. Uh, it's been um, on my mind a little bit lately, like uh, mainly just being away from my daughter, you know. It's been away from probably 12 months in the last two and a half years from my wife and uh, baby, so... Um, that's obviously my choice going over to New Zealand. I know that's where I'm going to be the best mixed martial artist. You put in all the costs, put on the costs to my family. Um, probably just can't do it anymore. With the deductions and the loss of the fight tonight, I'm probably going to have to rob someone in the car park. So if anyone's got any money on them, who's, <laughs> who's got the most on them? <laughs> is, it, is it a financial thing? Like you just kind of. And it's more a family thing, definitely. But like, I've got. Just change of dreams, brother. So if I'm going to do that, um, I might as well spend it with my daughter. Who knows? But you might see me on the Australian circuit, but that's it for me for MMA. Did you, uh, did you know, even before fight night, that this might be where you were trending? Yeah, definitely. I, and if it was the case, I was hoping to go out with a better performance. He was um, really good at... Uh, well, one, really good at hitting hard. That helps. Um, he was doing off-center punches, and uh, um, I've only ever been in this to fight the best... He set, set it up and I th like, thought I'd give him a good test and I believe he's going to go pretty far. So good on him. I'm glad we went the distance. Um, but yeah, I, especially after that, that just solidified it. So There will be a time where your family are able to look at this in the future and know what you decided to do for them and yeah. be able to spend time with them. And so for that, I think you deserve respect and congratulations on Appreciate your career. That. Thank you very much, brother. And thank you for our video. That one was uh, this is the funniest one ever. <laughs> You know, we had another fighter in here earlier, also yeah. retiring, and very similar really? similar reasons as well wow. for his daughters. Uh, is that something, I mean, we all know you guys have sacrifices, but some, maybe the fans don't realize how deep those sacrifices go. Can you kind of talk to me about exactly what you had to sacrifice during uh, your career? Yeah, I try not to complain about it too much. You know, I get to do what I love. There's people out there that are sacrificing this much doing a shit job. So, uh, like, I'm thankful for the opportunities that I've got. Um, I've got to live my dream, fight in front of the biggest crowds, fight for the biggest company in the world. So it's all positives for me, but um, I want to look back and uh, to just so much spending that time with my daughter. Ooh, that one almost got me. It's close. <laughs> it's close. It's shining up here. What's the, the plan going forward in terms of how uh, involved you will be with the sport in, you know, maybe, or would, do you think maybe you could do commentary or coaching or? Oh, I, I always, I love having here. I've got so many good con and deep connections with people in the UFC. I love some of the, these people here. Um, thank you for, massive thankful, uh, thank you to Mick and Hunter who made sure I was able to get this fight on short notice when I needed it. So it's, uh, it's going to be, uh, like I said, it's not just goodbye, see you later. Hopefully you'll see me probably on the regional circuit or something. Uh, if the UFC are happy with that, I've got to speak to them and see if they'll let me. So I've got to go make some money still. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, what about Hollywood? I, I think you got a face for, uh, for uh, movies. You can't see these tears. This is acting. <laughs> <laughs> Sold. With the with the like invitation over and by the way, thank you for everything you've done. Thank you, brother. Respect the memories, everything. What for example, things like Fight Pass Invitational. Do you? I know this is too soon to ask, but down the road, yeah, with guys who are established, we've yeah. had former champions, legends, Misha Tate, Lionheart Smith. Now maybe even you can be transitioned to something like that. Where it's like What's that? Is that the grappling? Yeah. It was, did no you just say what I did grappled in there? <laughs> you don't want to see me on that shit. <laughs> <laughs> is opening up an academy, a gym, a school, an option? All um, have all this knowledge, passing it on. Yeah, I'll, I'll definitely think about that in the future. Of um, at this stage, this fight, I didn't see anything past this fight really. So we're just, I'm sort of going with the flow, be like water. Can you share with us one of the the highs besides yeah. the big knockout last time around? Yeah, what are those special memories you have with the with the. Um, definitely entering the UFC. That finish, but also just the connections that I've made because of the UFC. My camp with my family, friends, training partners. Uh, I, obviously, probably sort of knew that I was going to be. I walked out with Jamie for James Sahuna for his last fight. Now he's walked out with me for my last fight. Uh, city kickboxing obviously has been a big part of my life, and it's crazy. I said that this would be. Uh, I knew that city kickboxing was where I was going to end my career. I just didn't know I was going to come this quick. <laughs> Your walkout song. Why did we choose that one for your last song, Walkout? 
So let's fucking go. <laughs> it's usually a softer song, I know, but I was just uh, in a real bad mood, I guess. The whole, this whole camp, especially just short camp, this one really hit me being away from the daughter. So I hated every ice bath, hated every session, <laughs> being away from her. So that's all that was. Well, thank you. So appreciate it. Everybody's proud of you, especially baby girl. Appreciate it. Thank you. I apologize in advance if I'm the one to cause it, but... Don't lie, you pumped, you gave all this chance knowing that you were going to try and do it to me. I, I, you know, I know decisions like this are never done just with the fighter, you know, usually the family's yeah. involved with it. Did the family yeah. know going into this that yeah, that's possibly going to be it? Yeah, they're definitely, we've obviously been talking about it, that's why I know that, uh, yeah, it's, it's like a whole decision, obviously, family, um, I've spoken with the team already, they sort of knew that it was on the cards, so... It's, uh, yeah, it was a long choice, but we're here now. Was this something that you were already, maybe even past fights that you were thinking about? I know no, definitely there were times not. when we didn't see you and then we saw you coming yeah. back, you know, I didn't know yeah. if this was something that you thought about a while back. No, no, definitely not after the last performance, yeah, probably just leaning, yeah, so, sort of, but that's me, I'm sort of always on the fly. <laughs> Well, definitely a lot of times uh, decisions like this are very emotional. You know, yeah. is there a possibility a year, two years down the road, three years down the road that we don't see you coming back and trying to jump back in this again? Never say never, but I'm, I can't see it in the foreseeable future. Is there a chance you're just at home too much and the family are like, maybe go back to Yeah, 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 yeah. That's probably the highest chance out of all of it. <laughs> Thank all you good. Thank you, team. Thank you.